Maybe I read it somewhere that you blue or something. All right, 5.30, haven't arrived. Call the meeting to order. Stand and recite the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, could we get a non-public under A? We'll make a motion. We go into non-public session, RSA 91A3, Roman numeral 2, letter A. The dismissal, promotion, or compensation of any public employee or disciplining of such employee. Second. Yes. 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 Sorry, folks. Note for the record that no action was taken in non-public session. Could I get a motion to seal the minutes of the non-public session? So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Aye. Yes. 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 Very good. Moving on to review of outstanding minutes for the 5th of December. Motion to approve. Second. All those comments? In comments? Sorry, sir. Page two, under uh, 2016 Equalization uh, Municipal Data cert Certificate. So it should be, in two instances, coefficient of dispersion. Right. Rather than coefficient dispersion. COD. Right. So that, that shows it's up. It's taken me 15 years to understand that. <laughs> that shows up in the second line and also the last line of that paragraph. Uh, next one, uh, town administrator's report. Um, the first first line talks about the uh, the, the highway department vehicle being uh, left at uh, the Epsom Town line, and then immediately says the Decatur sand and gravel has been sold. And I'm thinking, what does that have to do with the truck being left at the? Uh, so that should so be it should say the. Um the winning bidder of sand for sand and gravel, uh, the for winter sand, right, the, the company has been sold or winter, something. The winter right. sand just, contract. Just make that a new paragraph. Okay. So it doesn't run into that. Uh, unfinished business, second line. Uh, it should be. It, it reads implement seven policies. He has reviewed the departments, so it should be possessive. Apostrophe s on departments. And that's all I have. Anyone else? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? I have an accounts payable manifest in the amount of $559,111.70. You know what? It's not $500,000 for the school. Five hundred and thirty six thousand one seventy one for liability, which is county taxes. Paid them the damn people again. All right. Anyhow, five hundred fifty nine one eleven seventy. Counts payable. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Recognizing that the large chunk of it is for the county taxes. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? I forgot the month of December is almost over. <laughs> it's been recommended that we abate the amount of $2,339.31 on map 415, lot 76, which is located at Mountain Road. The amount includes $2,000 for original land use change tax assessed and $339.31 interest prior to lien execution. And this is Nellie Rollins, 30 Raymond Road. Motion to approve the assessor's no. recommendation. recommendation. Second. 
Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The uh, town clerk has requested us to refund multiple requests where taxpayers uh, paid twice on their second half 2016 taxes. The amount is $9,225. The breakdown is as follows. Barry Stevens, 45 Old Center Road, $2,146. Bradley Taylor, 18 Ritchie Road, $225. Rachel Norris, 17A Penn Ave, $1,266. Walter Turgeon, 44 Church Street, $3,355. Bethany Van Leuven, 17 Ritchie Road, uh, $2,233 again for a total of $9,225. I would make a motion that we return the refunds as requested by the town clerk. Second. Discussion? I would note that you need to keep track of whether your mortgage company is paying your taxes or yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? We'll get a number. I recall one of them, I think 17 Penn Ave sold, and it, it obviously was the payments crossed. And hmm. oh, we'll have as many mortgage companies that pay late as we pay double. I'd like the board to give me a motion to give me authority to sign a Letter of agreement with Jan Foisey. I would make a motion that we authorize the chair to sign a letter of agreement with Jan Foisey. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So uh, I happened to be um, at the library about a week and a half, two weeks ago, and uh, was talking with Evelyn as she came out the back door, and noticed that the retaining wall right there on the, on the side going up to the return books uh, box in the back door is cracked pretty seriously. Is this the one that we just did? That's what I thought. Um, Evelyn had said something along the lines of, no, it was older than that. They had just painted it when we refurbed it. But there's a serious crack in there that we really need to take care of before it, it's right on the corner, so it'll push the whole corner out. So um, Evelyn uh, wants to know, will we be discussing the retaining wall repairs tonight? Because uh, the library would like to put in for money to be encumbered for this project, but have no idea how to estimate that number. So. Evelyn got the name of the original contractor through and gave it to Jan to send it to me. Is it possible we could have Mark call him up and ask him to come give us a estimate? Yes. And then we can discuss Is it. it. Board concrete wall? Yeah, it looks to me like it was. Yeah. Well, it might be a, a stone wall that they added concrete to. So I can't remember how that how that went. But bottom line is there's a serious crack so that was it coming one way instead of the other or just a crack it's a crack all the way through right by the corner so there's the building the wall comes here to the corner and then comes across yeah. it's right about 12 inches away from the corner hmm. so it's going to push that whole corner and everything else over well let's get the estimate let's get an way. estimate and we'll see about what the library budget has available to to, to encumber right. we needed the town engineer to look at it instead of just an estimate from a contractor your question is as good as mine. I, I, I don't know. My comment you know would be to get the town engineer to look at it before we get a price from the contractor. <laughs> I'll rephrase it. <laughs> if you think so, you, you, you know better than yes, I. I do. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Okay. Sounds like they didn't put any reinforcing it in if it's mm -hmm. a concrete wall. Yeah. I mean, it is fully cracked. Yep. 
and it's spread probably to at least a quarter of an inch right now. All right, we'll do that and get back to it. I have a letter from Eric Berglund regarding the Deerfield Conservation Commission. We are expecting a shortfall of about $300 in a DCC 2016 budget. To my memory, this is the first this has happened in a very long time. Any, are there any unexpected funds available to bring the budget into balance? I would say no, but we would balance it with the bottom line. Right. Correct? Mm -hmm. I just put that in there. This is just, I? okay. So we have not fully got the answers from Mark regarding the seven no, policies it, being fleshed out. He's coming in on the 19th. He's coming in on the 19th. Town Administrator's Report. Okay, was informed um, by Mark Tibbetts today that the construction or reconstruction of the upstairs bathroom will start tomorrow. They will do all the cutting outside so that the only mess inside will be them taking the walls and everything else apart, um, soaring and whatever else they need to do outside. So it won't be as bad as when they were doing the work in here. Approximately how long do they believe it'll take? About two weeks. Okay. Um, I have sent out the encumbrance memos if we are lucky enough to have anything at the end of the year. But with the weather forecasts and snow, um, I'm not optimistic about it. Um, and Kevin Berry, Town Clerk Tax Collector, just let me know that the second issue tax amount, we have received 91% of the tax, total taxes. It was due so on the 6th? Due on the 9th. The 9th. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Questions for the Town Administrator? No. Yes, sir. No. Um, yeah, I had a phone call, uh, phone message from Jim Spillane. Um, Jim ah, was yes. apparently uh, contacted by Capital, who wanted to know when we could get the copier. One of the reasons they're interested in donating it is apparently they want that space for something else. Um, so I responded to Jim that I would bring it up, but that I had no idea what the plan was. Um, I will have to get in touch with um, Highway Department and see when they can. It'd be good. They could do it. Yeah, they can do it. They can do it. But I didn't do it today because <laughs> they were a little <laughs> they were busy. They were a little busy. They have a two-day, maybe, uh, respite from that, so that maybe they can get it taken care of. Anything else for the town administrator? All right, we go to business, uh, unfinished, new, or other. Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman, I was uh, approached by uh, Assistant Chief Clark uh, at the transfer station on Saturday, and that uh, he told me that uh, Chief Tibbetts had uh, changed the uh, combination for the lock on the, on the door and apparently uh, this is hearsay from uh, from Assistant Chief Clark but uh, he told me that also uh, Lieutenant uh, Smith was uh, neither him neither, neither Assistant Chief Clark or Lieutenant Smith were were told of the change and did not know what the new combination was and uh, certainly if there was a fire and Lieutenant, S Lieutenant Smith had shown up at the fire station and didn't know what the combination was and wasn't able to get into the fire station, uh, <laughs> we could end up having a broken door in order for him to be able to get in. Uh, certainly I think it's, it's uh, inappropriate for uh, uh, Captains and well, assistant chief and lieutenant, not to be told of what uh, a change in the combination is, and I think uh, I think we need an explanation from uh, from Chief Tibbetts as to why this uh, this oversight or was occurred. Yep. <coughs> yes, sir. Does the rescue use that door? You also. Did you know that the number had changed? I didn't. 
Thank you. But not everybody was going to be told. Not everyone was going to be told? Can we get more on that, Cindy? Yeah, can we get an explanation on that? I didn't want to put it out over the I am responding or anything because Thank you. not everybody was going to be told. That's what I had been told. Thank you. Any other business? Yes, Jeff. Uh, just kind of an update on the 250th. There's January 7th. There's going to be an event at the church and the town hall to kind of close it all out. Um, I believe a potluck dinner. I'm not sure of the times. Um, I'm not sure of what's going on. Something will be happening at the town hall too. So something on the forum about it. Yeah. Um, there's also a time capsule that being um, done that night. Where are we playing that? The time the grass capsule. up front. Yeah, on the there's a large uh, green tarp sort of behind the uh, handicap access okay. ramp by the hedges. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Just and the tickets will be available up with Pete. Okay. <laughs> All right. Any other business? Well, I guess on a follow yes, up sir. on that, uh, how was how was the two fiftieth doing with regard to money? I can get you the information for next week. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, we won't need this non public session, so, citizens' comments. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you all for coming.